Hey guys, so here are two anti review the Dolopin Lego Blade Spider Man Homecoming Cree Pack minifigures. So, these are the boxes here. So, technically, it is not a Cree Pack, it's an 8 pack, but I'm just not interested in the rest of the figures. So, yeah, that's why I didn't get them. Uh, but, um, yeah, so. Uh, you can see this set, it's recommended for the six year craft, and this set 9054. And yeah, uh, so you got the Spider Man Homecoming suit, and you also got the homemade one. And the last one here, this is the um, the, the suit, uh, the, the normal suit with the with his uh, uniform on, uh, or a um, a jacket. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what it is, but. Yeah, and also each of these figures, uh, they they do come with uh, fidget spinners, which is um, very interesting, I guess. But you know, just no one talks about them anymore. Yeah, not much people talks about them anymore. So these are the tops of the boxes here. So you can see show, shows you the fidget spinner that they comes with, and these are the sides of the boxes here, showing you how to build the figure, and the other side, uh, showing you the fidget spinners. And yeah, uh, the bottom they are all the same, so yeah, nothing to talk. And finally, the back here so shows you uh, how to build a fidget spinner and also the full set. So uh, the full set here, um, I'm on, only interested in uh, four of these figures. Uh, the rest, I'm just not interested. I just don't quite like them. But yeah, the only one I'm missing here is this guy, which is a uh, spare man. Uh, from uh, the 2000 Cree movie, and yeah, I will. F uh, if I find do find it, I'll review it. But um, yeah, so that's it for all the boxes. So the first figure here is the Spider Man Homecoming suit, uh, Spider Man, of course. And um, yeah, uh, the fidget spinners, I'll show them uh, later in another part. And yeah, so you can see he has this uh, white web kind of thing. We're gonna also get uh, this piece. And yeah, uh, so you can see uh, the hair printing looks really nice. You got the eyes, uh, all the webbing printing. And yeah, uh, you got the uh, torso printing, uh, which you know, you got the spider symbol in the middle right there. And yeah, um, you got his web shoes on his uh, hip. Part, I guess uh, but yeah the leg printing also looks nice uh, you got all the linings but um, yeah uh, you also got the side arm printing which is also really nice but the only problem here is that uh, you don't have side leg printing so that means uh, this figure is not dual molded which kind of sucks um, you know I don't know why the Do Do dollar did this but um, yeah, it, it's kind of terrible, uh, but yeah, so the back, you can see you got the back hip print thing, uh, you, you also got the spur symbol right there, and you also got a back leg print thing, which is just to pretend to be uh, uh, dual mode legs, but um, yeah, uh, and also here is a comparison to the official Lego one, uh, so you can see the colors on the offshore Lego one, uh, it's much more like lighter, and the lines uh, for the Dollar Pin one, it's much more thicker than the um, uh, offshore Lego one. And yeah, the offshore Lego one has side leg printing. And yeah, uh, this is the back, pretty similar. And yeah, but aside from that, uh, that's really it for this uh, Spider-Man soup. So yeah. So next figure here is the homemade Spider-Man suit. Uh, so he he has uh, this uh, black uh, w spider web piece on him, and yeah, I'm not I'm don't know why Dollopin keeps making these weird spider web molds, but um, yeah, this one I just don't quite like it, and yeah. It could have been in white though, but uh, yeah. Uh, so you can see uh, his hair print thing looks nice. You got the you got the kind of like goggles, I guess, uh, for him. Yeah, uh, and he also has uh, this hoodie part, I guess. And you know, it looks nice and nice to get a red one. But yeah, it's not a it's not a rubber though. It's uh, plastic. But yeah, let's just remove it. Uh, so you can see. 
the torso opening looks nice as well. You got a spur symbol in the middle there, and you also got the zip, and you got the web shooters on the on the side of his uh, arm, and it's on both sides. And the lycra thing uh, also looks quite nice. Uh, and also this figure is uh, supposed uh, to have a uh, dual mode legs, but uh, they just didn't do it. And yeah, quite lazy. Dollar but um, yeah, and the back print thing, um, you know, you, you just got some linings here, and yeah, uh, you also got uh, the blueprint thing to you know kind of fake the um, the dual mode legs. So yeah, but aside from that, uh, that's really it for the homemade uh, Spiderman suit. Lastly, this is a uh, Spider-Man with uh, his uniform on, but um, yeah, so you can see he has this uh, web piece which is uh, in black. I guess it's uh, nice to get it uh, because this one is a um, little bit more uh, useful and yeah, uh, it looks better and yeah, but you know, uh, you can see the head piece uh, is the exact same one as the one from the first figure. And yeah, uh, the torso printing, you can see uh, you got uh, his uniform there. And you also got this uh, symbol, which shows uh, his, um, I believe it's like his skew or something. Or the, the competition that he's in. Uh, but yeah. And you got this uh, this bar symbol right there, and yeah, the legroom thing. I believe it's the exact uh, same. Um, yeah, I guess so. Uh, it's just that yeah, the color here, uh, the blue is kind of in like a um, light lighter, and yeah, but the back it doesn't have any printing, which does kind of suck. Um, you know. They could have uh, put like a back hair printing, it, it would have been nice, and also some linings there would have been nice, but um, yeah, uh, aside from that, uh, that's pretty, mu pretty much it for this um, Spider-Man figure. So yeah, that's it for all of the figures. So uh, these are the fidget spinner uh, builds here. Uh, so I will show you. Uh, each of them uh, one by one and yeah uh, so the first one uh, which this figure comes with it and yeah uh, so this is just a pretty normal fidget spinner and yeah I like the design it's um you know not I am not sure if uh, it's copy on online or yeah they just made themselves but I'm pretty sure they made themselves but yeah there's a problem here which uh, is this one of these pieces just keep popping off, so um, I have to you know put some uh, put some glue in it to you know make sure it doesn't fall off. So yeah, and you also have to leave a very small gap when you build it, uh, so that uh, this thing will be when you spin it, it will be smoother. And yeah, so on each end you got uh, this um, modified piece, and you got yellow and red. And yeah, just pretty basic, I guess. You know, you can just spin it, and yeah, it's it's pretty cool. And yeah, uh, the second one, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, yeah, it's almost almost the same, except that uh, now they they come with uh, this one by two uh, cheese slope piece and yeah it still spin, spins the same and yeah sometimes it does get stuck if you keep pushing it in yeah so you know just make sure to you know be cautious of that and yeah uh, the last one that comes with this figure is uh, this one which if you are wondering what it is it's just a uh, three pieces so you know, you got a spare web in the middle and both of these uh, ball pieces, which um, they are actually glow in the dark pieces. So yeah, they're actually uh, pretty cool to get. So yeah, I'm not sure if Official uh, Lego made this or not, but yeah, let's close off the light and yeah, you can see it does glow. And yeah, that's that's nice. But um, e you know, wh what it's supposed to do is just, um, you, you just spin it like this. And yeah, this just fidget spinner, and yeah, I, I'm hitting my camera, but yeah, you, you can just spin it like this. So yeah, but um, yeah, just it's just pretty weird, but I guess uh, it's pretty nice to get uh, these glow in the dark pieces. But yeah, aside from that, uh, that's really it for the fidget spinner builds, and yeah.
so overall conclusion of this set so how do I think of it uh, well uh, the figures um, you know they do kind of suck actually uh, their quality has been like and been not very good in this uh, set and yeah I'm not sure if uh, this will continue continue on with all the other sets uh, that will be made after this but um, yeah it's kind of sad to see dollar pin um, like quality you know become uh, not very nice but um, yeah they just don't have dual model legs because um, normally they they have a uh, dual model legs and yeah they all look really nice and very detailed and yeah, but you know the figure selection, I think is really nice. You get the homemade suit, and you also get this um, uh, the uniform uh with Spider-Man suit. And yeah, I think it's really nice. Uh, but it's just that all these figures, um, I'm not sure who started it first. Uh, but you know, a uh, quite a lot of uh, figure brands made it. So yeah, but. Uh, the fidget spinner builds, um, I think they are really nice. Um, you know, nice to get a different style of it. And yeah, this one is the coolest one. You know, you get the you get the glow in the dark pieces, and they are just really simple. And they are just made out of uh, three pieces. And yeah, um, and I if I do find this one, the Spider-Man, I will review it and. Yeah, I think that one is also really cool. But um, yeah, aside from that, uh, that's really it for the set. Um, I do think it's really nice. Uh, it's it's just that um, they don't have dual model legs, and yeah, that kind of sucks. That their quality has been not really nice. But yeah, overall, I do still think uh, you should get this set if you like the Spider-Man figures. And yeah, so if you want to buy the set, I'll put a buy link down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you very soon.